There is no question whether or not Cobra Kai is a good show. Like, I think I've only seen one comment in all of my videos, and I've had lots of comments where there's just one person who actually didn't like Cobra Kai, but the rest of us, we seem to have loved it. So there's, there's no question about the fact that it's a great show. But I don't think that most people realize just how furiously important this show actually is and why we really desperately needed it. Hope you enjoy. What's up boys and girls, this is Vin Jimfi. I hope you're having a smashing day. If this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And for the rest of you, thank you for joining me once again. So today, and only today, I want to talk about just how furiously important it is that we actually got this show on the road, so to speak. Like, you know me, like you saw my first reaction. I was like, I didn't like the idea of Cobra Kai. I didn't want them to go back to the story. And I basically got my ass handed to me in the comment section for that video. Like people did not like me criticizing the idea. And surely enough, when I did my review of Cobra Kai, I basically just flat out said it. Boy, I was so wrong. It was awesome. I did that. And now I'm sort of thinking like, why is it so important that we got this show back? Because I think that there is a really good reason why we needed this show. Because the 80s had something. Like, it's hard for me. I'm not going to be one of those guys who's going to go like, Oh, it used to be better in the past. I'm just going to put my teeth back in. I'm not going to be like that. But I'm just saying, like, there was this... Um, how should I put this? There was, there was less reliance on effects on you know really cool scenes and there was a little bit more magic like I'm, I'm just gonna mention like a few like back to the future uh, karate kid the goonies like these were like movies that were about you know like friendship they weren't like superficial they were like very uh, tight somehow and uh, just when you were watching one of those movies it just felt like you were there there you're like watching your friends like you know what i mean like you really felt like you were there and you didn't have to use 3d effects or anything like that i mean i i, I completely do not connect with like movies like avatar like i just don't you know it's just too superficial for me but cobra kai that that's actually I think Cobra Kai made me feel the way I felt when I was watching Karate Kid and Goonies and Back to the Future. I got that same feeling and I don't think it was just trickery, you know, just because the old characters were back. I think there was, there is substance in Cobra Kai and I think we desperately really need it. And I think a lot of you probably agree with me. Like. There is something really special about Cobra Kai. Obviously, since you would not be watching this video if you didn't agree with me, right? I'm right. Like, <laughs> um, so I, that's one aspect of the whole thing. Like, we really need to get that magic back. There was something about the '80s. There was some kind of a magic, and somehow along the way, we just lost it. I just I don't know what happened with it, but it, now it looks like it's coming back. So I feel really awesome about the whole thing. Then there is a second thing, a second reason why I think we really needed Cobra Kai to come back to us. And that's going to be the martial arts. Like, what happened? Like, I remember in the 80s, we had Jean-Claude Van Damme, we had, uh, you know, Chuck Norris, and we had martial arts. Martial arts was cool, you know, it was like Bruce Lee. And kids today, they don't even know who Bruce Lee was. So, I, I really think, like, like... I remember watching Cobra Kai and the, the scene, you know, where Miguel just flips everything around in the cafeteria and just beats everybody up, like really protects himself, really making a stand for himself and for all the geeks. I'm telling you guys, it felt like I was standing there in the cafeteria just cheering for him because like that was so cool. Like, I'm not going to say like, you know, violence is a good thing, but you know, we need to be able to protect ourselves. We can't just always rely on, you know, everyone else doing everything for us. And I, I'm not saying that we should all just go out and take karate lessons, but the idea of martial arts, it's like, I'm not an expert in martial arts, so okay, I've just, I've always just admired the art form. But the idea behind it, I think, is like, you know, you connect 
with your inner self, your body. It's like mind over body, body over mind. And you like, you're synced, you're in Zen mode and you can like really take control of your life. And, and that's kind of what I think this is all about. Like the karate thing. Like if you just, if you noticed that karate, what it does to all of these people, like it really turns them around. It makes them into more powerful beings, basically. They have more control over their lives. Now, yeah, Hawk and Miguel who really change a lot from, you know, first episode to the last episode. Maybe they go a little bit overboard. Maybe they overreact a bit. Uh, I know that some of you do not agree with that, but I'm just saying maybe. <sighs> that that there is there can be no like discussion on the fact that martial arts karate it changes people it changes the viewers like i felt empowered just watching these kids standing for up for themselves like that girl or all the guys or 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 even robbie who i hate like <laughs> even the fact that robbie like turned things around went from like a hoodlum to someone doing kata and doing amazing martial arts like we needed that those kids needed it and we uh we viewers we also needed it so that's why i'm really looking forward to season two i think that me personally i need it i think a younger generation need it. and i think that basically everyone who, who enjoyed season one really did because they are lacking something that we just can't find in any of all the other shows like don't get me wrong i'm a, I'm a big fan of westworld and walking dead and all sorts of shows but this really felt like a step forward into the right direction and i'm super happy about it i just wanted to share my thoughts on the whole thing now i really would like to know what you think about the whole thing did any of the things that i just said make any sense or did it just feel like i'm just like i'm just floating away somewhere into space with my thoughts let me know okay that was it hope you enjoyed this video and if you did see that like button smash it and i got some freakishly awesome videos coming up better subscribe so you don't miss a beat i'll see you later peace